Hey guys, my booth here. Today I'm going to unbox and review a thousand dirhams gimbal, which is about 250 US dollars, but it was fancy to say the thousand. This is the Dobert Rigid. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. It raised more than $670,000 on Kickstarter early in 2017, and it is one of, if not the most advanced stabilizer for your smartphones and GoPros, and you'll see why in the next couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and unbox it. It has a pretty big box. The only gimbal I have reviewed so far was the XCAM Side 2 and that was pretty small. The box was just a tad bigger than your average smartphone box. I'm going to slide the cover right off and then we have another black box. Inside this we have the stabilizer in the carrying case and it has this neat little carbon fiber finish and it is pretty rigid for added protection. Next, we have the strap for the carrying case and four more tiny cables. These are to charge your phone or action camera from the gimbal while they are mounted. There is an iPhone cable, two micro USBs, and one type C cable. Finally, there is an instruction manual, which by far has the most understandable English I have ever read in my reviewing experience. Inside the carrying case, we have the charging cable for the device, a hand strap, a tripod screw and the gimbal. Look at this thing. It looks great. It is completely made out of metal. It feels so sturdy and the finishing on this thing is flush in every corner. I have to say, job well done. It has a matte finish so you're not going to see any smudges on there. The only thing that is not metal is the control panel. You've got the joystick here along with the power slash record button. On the side, we have the yaw and pitch controls and the app control button. There's a quarter inch screw to mount it on tripods. And here is the charging port. The bottom part of the handle is made out of leather, I guess, for better grip. The whole thing weighs uh, 480 grams, which is a pound. The battery goes in here. It has a 3340 milliamp hour battery which lasts for 3 hours of continuous use. I'm going to power it up now. Always place your phone in the gimbal before powering it on. It has a universal holder with rubber paddings on all contact surfaces so you don't need to worry about scratches on your phone. Once the phone is in, just hold it to the side to balance it horizontally. If it is falling towards the left, you can just loosen the screw on the roll motor and pull out the arm until you have balance. Then tighten it again and you're good to go. Now I'll just go ahead and press the power button for two to three seconds and it will start balancing the phone. There it goes. This is a three axis gimbal so I can rotate the handle uh, almost a complete 360 degrees. This way also it will go about 180 degrees when active. and the phone can also be rolled over a good 300 degrees. This is as flexible as it can get practically. There are four ways you can handle this thing. This is the normal upright position. You can also hold it flat like this. And if you want the phone in the portrait position, then you can simply turn to the side. And when the gimbal arm reaches its limit, it will automatically turn the phone into vertical position and start stabilizing it in that orientation. If you turn it even further, it will turn the phone again into landscape mode and this is the underslung position. So each position is useful in different situations. Now there are two main ways of using this. One is the boring way and the other is very very interesting. Let's start with the boring one. So you launch the phone's camera and then you can use a stabilizer while you record videos. You can control the camera on the mobile screen as you would normally do. The motors on this thing are super quick. No matter how swiftly you move it around any axis, the phone will remain unmoved. You can use a joystick to move the phone around manually as well. And at any time, you can press the joystick button to recenter it. Now, the interesting way is to download the Rigid app, which is available on Google Play and App Store for free. Switch on your phone's Bluetooth and open the application. Tap on this icon and connect to your device when it appears in connection. And now you can completely control the camera app from the gimbal handle. It even has object and face tracking. I'll come to that in a moment. 
Now you can see these icons next to the shutter button. The first one is panorama, which is selected. Simply press the record button on the gimbal and it will start taking pictures by moving around. It should be kept stable at this point. And once it has taken all the pictures, it will stitch the whole image and put it in the library folder, which is over here. You can click on it and go inside and check out all your videos and photos at any time. Next is the picture mode, then video mode and time lapse mode. Pretty standard, except all of these have object and face tracking. So what you do is if you're in any one of these modes, for example, video, you will see this tracking icon in the bottom left corner. Simply tap on it and it will turn blue. Then select the object in the camera viewfinder you want to track by dragging a finger across it and a green rectangle will appear on top of it. And it's done. Now you can hold the gimbal steady or place it on a tripod and it will move around with the object. Even if you move around the gimbal and the object is stable, the phone will move to keep it in focus. I personally love this feature because I have a lot of difficulty recording drone flight videos. Not anymore. Check this out. This is impressive stuff. See when I selected the drone on the screen for tracking, it was laying flat on the ground and that was the image I fed. But now it is different when it is in the air and it is still tracking it. And not only does it keep it in the frame, it actually keeps the object centered. This is a video I recorded of the drone with the tracking on. Another big advantage to me is that as a reviewer, I frequently have to pan around stuff in my videos while keeping it centered. And since I'm usually on a budget, I do it by hand. And it turns out like this. No matter how smooth I try, you can still notice some bobbling in the video. Here is a clip with the gimbal tracking on. All I had to do was move the gimbal sideways and it did all the phone turning. And yes, it tracks objects and faces, so it is a perfect tool for vloggers. You are welcome for the gift idea I just gave you. On to the next mode, which is motion time lapse. And oh, you can do all the switching from the handle itself. See this button on the right side? Simply press it downwards to switch modes. Pressing it upwards will toggle between front and back cameras. And keeping it pressed downwards or upwards will make the camera zoom in or out. Now the motion time lapse is a unique way of recording events. Just set the parameters to two different frames and then set the interval between them and then press record. It will pan slowly and keep recording a time lapse video, something like this. It is best to set it on a tripod for this. Finally, slow motion is also available in the app, uh, but this will only work if your phone has slow motion recording by default, like iPhone. And unfortunately, this does not have tracking. Let's not forget the different handling modes. The default is lock mode. Basically, the phone will stay locked in one position no matter what you do with the handle. When you move the button to Y, which is yaw, the phone will follow you around when you turn the gimbal sideways, but not up or down. And the Y-P mode will put both the yaw and pitch motors in follow mode, so it will move with the movement of the handle, but in a very subtle way, not like you would do with your hand. This avoids sudden movements and shaky videos. If your phone is running low on battery, you can use the small cables to charge your phone from the gimbal, and they've really designed the cables thoughtfully so as not to obstruct the phone while it is in the holder. I've talked a lot about the gimbal, but I'm not done yet. There are still many more things in the app, but I would like to highlight only three of them before I give out my final thoughts. Number one, you have multiple filters to choose from in the camera, which is pretty common. Number two, the gimbal control page. Now from here, you can set the speed at which it will follow in tracking mode and also the speed at which it will move with the joystick. You can also update the firmware from here when it is available and most importantly, remote control. So when you're connected to the gimbal via Bluetooth, you can have one phone mounted on it and recording, and you can control the movements of the gimbal from another phone like this. Finally, you can trim your videos from the app itself, add soundtracks, and even share it to social media. Not to forget, you can go live to YouTube directly from the app.
This is where the tracking feature comes in real handy for vloggers. Here is my standard running test for a stabilizer. This is a video I made while running with the phone in hand and this is with the gimbal. Smooth, right? Well, all in all, I don't know what to say. This is one of the best gadgets I have reviewed so far. The build quality is excellent, very refined and intuitive when it comes to use whether with or without the app. The app is surprisingly comprehensive. Even in such a long video, I could not cover all that it has to offer. It supports all phone sizes and action cameras like GoPro. You do have to get a separate mount for that by the way. It has a very decent battery life of 3 hours, acts like a power bank when needed. It simply has everything and in my opinion even more than what you could ask for in a pro level gimbal. I cannot help but give it a perfect 10 out of 10 my booth rating. And I just realized I've never done that before. They've nailed it. It sells for $269 but they have a $50 discount going on right now on their website. Additionally, I have also mentioned a 10% discount code which you can use as well. I've left a link to their store in the description box below in case you want to check it out. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook and other social media, the links to all of which are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.